Hello and welcome to Midas Tutorials. This tutorial covers the public booking requests feature of Midas, which allows members of the public to check your room availability and make booking requests online. To enable public booking requests, you need to go to Midas Admin Options, Manage Midas, select the Web Requests tab, and click Enable and Save Changes. Next you need to select which of your venues you wish to make available for public requesting. This is done via the Manage Venues screen. So to make a venue available for public requesting, we select it in the All Venues list, so we're going to select Room 1. We tick the Publicly Requestable tick box, and then in the Managers tab, which lists all users who have permission to process web requests, and we select which user or user we wish to process web requests for this particular venue. And we click Save Changes. We then repeat this process for our other venues we wish to make available to the public. And we'll add one more, Room 3. Now that this is set up, let's have a look at what a member of the public would see when they visit your public request form. I have this open in a separate tab. And remember, members of the public don't need a login to Midas or a password to use this form. It's a very simple form to use, and it's broken down into a number of steps. In step 1, the member of the public would select the venue or venues that they're interested in. So let's select all of them. Next, we select the date that we're interested in requesting or checking the availability of. We can also select multiple dates here as well if we wish. Midas then displays the current availability for the venues and dates we've selected. So I can see that room 3 is fully available on this day, so I'm going to make a request to use it from 12 till 3 for 20 people. I can add some notes about my booking. to let the person approving the booking know what I'm booking it for. I then enter my name, Fred Smith, I can enter an organisation as well, and then my email address. And then I click Request All Available. Midas then tells me that the booking request has been received, and also a copy of the details I've entered are also sent to my email. So that's all a member of the public needs to do to check the availability of your venues and make a booking request. Now if we switch back to Midas, you'll see there's a notification waiting for me indicating that there are booking requests that require my attention. If I click this icon, I'm taken to the pending booking request screen, which shows all outstanding requests including the one I've just made as Fred Smith. There are a number of action icons available for booking requests. The first icon, if I click that, it will approve the request, confirm it is an actual booking, and send an automated email to the client to let them know. If I have questions about this request, I can click the Query icon to compose an email to the client to ask them for more information. If I wish to accept the request, but change some details of it, for example move it into a different room that would be more suitable, I can click the Modify button, which will take me to the normal booking form, allowing me to make changes and confirm the booking. If I don't wish to accept this request and reject the booking, I can click the Reject icon. This will then prompt me to give a reason why I'm rejecting it, which will be sent in a notification email to the client. The final icon is the Padlock icon. This allows me to lock this booking request so no other users can process it. This is useful if I'm in the middle of querying a booking request with a client. I obviously don't want another user to come in and approve it whilst I'm dealing with it. So when a booking request is locked, no other user can do anything about it until I either unlock it or approve or reject the booking. Finally, the last setting on this screen is a notify me by email when new requests are received. If you select this icon, Every time a booking request is received by Midas for a venue that you manage, Midas will send you an email informing you that there are booking requests requiring your attention. 
But in this particular instance, I'm going to accept and approve this booking request. So I click this icon. And then if I switch back to the booking grid, you can see my booking is now in Midas. And that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other tutorials online at mid.as forward slash tutorials.